Here we go. How we looking? How we sound? Mm, Everybody sound great. good? Sound wonderful? Sounds great. What's up, y'all? What's up, yeah, Fresco Black? We are in this thing. Sharice Davis, what's happening? Devante, what's going on? Spice, what's up, Kai? What's going on? What's happening? How are we? How are you? How are thou? Oh, man. Somebody took my Megan the Stallion lyrics. Well, my, my uh, old English thing. Hmm? They said, I saw a thread on Twitter. I was going to send it to you because people were posting Meg, Meg lyrics in old English. Oh, already. Yeah, it's getting hot, yo. We got to keep with going. The thieving. We got to keep going with it before it gets too late. People go, oh, that's original. Hello. I want to do it. That's spicy original. Why? <sighs> so... Love to talk about, brother. Oh, what's happening? Congratulations on the movie that you uh putting together. Thanks, you know, man. thank you. He uh hit me up with the with the assist and say, Hey, would you like to audition and be a <laughs> part of only fans right now? By the way, why you stop talking? it, man? Why you talking stop. to me? Stop, I just promoted something. Did y'all see his face when he was smiling, talking? Yeah, man, congratulations on the uh the movie. He's first paying all, his, he's look, paying his monthly car right now. First of all, <laughs> this reminds me of this you looking at my phone. Reminds me of this. I want to know how you react. If you was okay. at the barbershop, uh -huh. imagine you're at the barbershop, you uh, and your phone, right? Uh -huh. How would you react to this? Oh, I saw this craziness. Oh, yes, you do. Uh, no, no, no. You were just texting them. I just seen it. You seen a Trayvon in my phone? I did. I did. I, know I don't even have nobody. I know, I know how my. I don't even have nobody saved in my phone under the I name know how my nigga text is crazy. I know who you're talking to. I know my man. And she still was here. Your man's name is Trayvon? I know how he talks. And you talking to him? You was looking at my phone? I sure, I sure would. Well, <laughs> How would you react? Uh, <coughs> if, your, if your barber was like that, like... So, uh, I would be like, hey, is, look, look, is this her number? I would say that first. Uh -huh. is, this the, is this the number? Like, check. Yeah. Why are you up here with the clippers to my neck? Right. Check. <laughs> I'm like, well, we can we can settle this right now. <laughs> you know, that was my thing. I was like, why don't yeah. you just why don't you just be like, is this the number? Because I I I ain't know. Mm -hmm. I, what am I? What, how am I supposed to know? Yeah. But it's, it's so many layers because it could be, it could have been. Also, I want to know their history. Like, how long have they been friends? Yeah. Or not even necessarily friends, but doing their hair. Right. Because if I'm coming to your house, right, which yeah. is very common yeah. amongst the blacks to right. do hair, right? right? Right. So I was like, that's not a new thing. So I'm like, I got him. I don't know how long they've been, you know, is this the first time? Right. Yeah. So I want to know how many times. I'm like, girl, I've known you for how long? Yeah, I, I, and I want to know what she saw, because the funny thing is, she said that's why I started recording. So what was she doing? When she was like doing stuff like this for her. Like I gotta record this because she's she's being messy. Because she started like, also, like girl who's like you don't see the once you start recording like you see us recording this right. <laughs> like it's not like the messages are still up. You see yourself acting crazy. It's a selfie video. Yeah. Yeah. It's a selfie video. You know you're acting nuts. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm trying to think if, if I had a barber behind me, and he was like, oh, is that is that Cheryl? First of all, if you enjoy any of my videos, <laughs> if you, if barber, if you enjoy any activity on my phone, I'm pissed. If he's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> your hair, your hair. He been watching your shit for the whole time. He's like, <laughs> so he, oh, he said it. <laughs> gag plants. He's mm, crazy. He's like, yeah, that's not a good mood on Candy Crush, brother. Don't do that. <laughs> not, not the red. How you focus? My bad, dog. Yo, yeah, I'm already pissed. I'm like, you looking at my phone? He's like, well, I mean, I'm bored. I mean, I would expect him to, to glance every now and then mm -hmm. because, you know. He's, yeah, you see things flashing, man. you see things moving, yeah, twerking. But, but but if he's in there like. Yeah, yeah, over your shoulder. Whoa. whoa. Look at all that. Or, or this, this is the problem. If we are cool, by all means. Mm -hmm. Like like the fact you look at my phone, and he, that was on Instagram. Mm -hmm. and it was just like, it was just like, that's crazy. You look at those girls twerking. 
That's on Instagram, man. All right, so that's, we can play like Here's that. Here's the thing. It's because I'm, I'm looking here. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's so I'm talking to you like, yeah. yeah. I was not. Please. Run, I run just, the tape back. I just. I can't wait till this comes. You're going to be like, uh-huh. I run just the tape back. posted and promoted the show. Mm-hmm. Talk to us live. So the last video you was on. And then as soon as it sent, twerkage. as soon as it posted, that Ass was the next up. video. Okay. It's just convenient. <laughs> And the thing is, here's the thing. If any of my friends, female friends, are a twerker or is a twerker. You can DM me at. No. <laughs> no. I, We're I, doing a new show. <laughs> <laughs> no cameras. It's just me as the judge. You ain't the hip hop shit. <laughs> Your hips gonna pop though. <laughs> um, I just, I, I either hide them. Mm-hmm. Or I don't I don't follow them because mm-hmm. it's like I shouldn't be on your page this long. This is this is ridiculous. I mean, they want you to contribute <laughs> to the algorithm. Yeah, I, you're I doing them a favor. If if I see somebody of, of of substance, like I respect you as a content creator or a funny person, comedian, and you just twerk all the time, I, I either had to hide it because I was like, because now your my perspective of you is changing as in like. I'm sort of lusting of the idea of it. And I was like, I shouldn't be looking at this long. It's like, now when I see you in person, I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. So what you been do, up I, to? Do, do I comment on the Turking video? Saw or? your, saw your video. It was like, my fan. Yeah. I like, yeah. you've been, you've been posting. You've been doing your thing, girl. Yeah. I don't know what you say. There's a there's a girl who I. What's the workout routine? You gotta go another direction. You gotta go different. What's the, what's yeah, the yeah, workout yeah. routine? How you? <laughs> this girl, this girl I follow. Um, I, I, this is maybe like a year and a half. You follow in person? Uh, yeah, we was we were, we were working on one. Like of, you follow her around? She's no, working, going to home. No, <laughs> in her we bushes. were on set, oh, and okay. it, it was the forced like, hey, I just follow you, follow me back, mm-hmm. and she was like, let me know when you got it. Like that sort of forced, mm-hmm. and and I followed her, <clears throat> and I I keep forgetting to unfollow her, but I keep seeing her pop up my feed. She don't do anything bad. Mm-hmm. She's just not funny, mm-hmm. right? But I worked with her on set, and she's like genetically modified, mm-hmm. like okay. a lot. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even know what part of her body is real. <laughs> Does it look good though, or is it like? I'll show you. Who did you went to different people to do this work? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you got a whopper for breast. You got Wendy's uh, hips. <laughs> you didn't even get the McDonald's fries. They yeah. in and out fries. <laughs> <laughs> and her eyes are different. <clears throat> Cross colors, yeah. And she oh. has like these lip enhancements and oh. fake breasts, fake booty. The lip enhancements don't be looking good. Yeah. I don't know what women are looking for. They don't right. look like ducks for real. Right, right. It doesn't look. Everybody, every chick with that looks like Daffy Duck or mm-hmm. Donald Duck. It looks wild. No. All I have to say is, um, since she she since she has enhancements, mm-hmm. she never wear bras. Oh boy! So her her breast is always up. <laughs> and I'm doing this for a reason. It's always up, always sitting up, and she never wear bras. <clears throat> so they're very perky. Mm-hmm. Hey, just need this much attention. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it bothers me. It's like it's like I I, I she's young. So I know it's, it, it might be one of those things. What happened with Black China? You know what happened with Black China? Mm-mm. Do you know who Black China is? Yeah, I'll, all I really know is that I don't know if she's a stripper or something like that, or yeah. but I know she she dated one of the Kardashian dudes. And, Rob, I think. Yeah, and then I think her mom Tyga. was a stripper or something like that. Yeah, that's all I really know because yeah. I saw some video where she was, I think it was her mom was twerking, and I said, yeah. "Who's she?" Yeah, she she Forget got Black China. She got all her enhancements take enhancements taken out. Oh, for real? How she look now? It's normal. She's super skinny. Um, she got it all taken out, and she is now like a a Christian now. Like she was just like I just realized that my my self esteem and all that stuff was just tarnished because of how I wanted to look and how I wanted to perceive myself. Yeah, man. If you do all that stuff, you do the outer work. Without the inner work, and you still feel sad, or you still feel whatever. Yeah. Like there's more, there's more to get done. Let me ask you this though: This is going to hurt. This, this might sting a lot of people that who have enhancements. Mm-hmm. Do you think people who have enhancements is an insecurity? 
Um, I don't necessarily think it's an insecurity. I mean, to an, to an extent, right? Like, you're probably doing it because you want something to look better. You know it can look better. I don't think that's bad, though. Mm-hmm. You know, like... Um, it bothers you, right? No, like, I saw... Uh, what's her name from Destiny's Child? Not Beyonce. Not Michelle. Michelle. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Kelly said she did a boo job, but she went from, like, an A cup to a B cup or something like that. She said she just went up so she could fit in more designer dresses and little things like that. Mm. So I go, like, I don't think that's a bad thing by any means. I go, like, I don't think it's an insecurity. She's like, because uh, Kelly's beautiful. Right. And I don't think she ever had a problem getting a dude. Right. You know? That has nothing to do with her breasts, though. But but it's an enhancement she did. Yeah. So <clears throat> I don't think that it's a thing where she might have been like, oh, <coughs> I'm missing the itty bitty titty. You know? But it can easily make it, they can easily alter it. They don't have to give her a boob job. I think it's a lot cheaper just to alter it. What do you mean alter it? You have to get in there. If she did a boo job, you got to it's a, it's, no, you gotta alter the, sh- the clothes. Oh, but that's what she was saying. She's saying I was too flat chested to do it. She was like, yeah, it doesn't look good. alter the clothes versus getting the whole boob but job. But she's saying that it doesn't look right. Got you. So she's saying that I had to make my alteration so I fit in other people's right. designer dresses because they don't want these flat titties around trying oh, to boy. wear their stuff, you know? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The that's probably is, what she said. The me. funny thing is somebody said it to her that was like, ah, it's just not fitting. What's tell me? Tell me, Jean. What is the titties? Because you know there's some kind of French yeah. designer. The titties. The titties. Too, too, too small. I knew he's gonna say it. I knew he's gonna say this. I need big bosoms. Bosom. I need the the rackies. Well, how do you Americans say it? The racks. The, the melons. <laughs> So I go like for those things, the lip injections, wow! But also, not having a top lip looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that I can't stand a chick with no top lip. It's yeah. weird. A lot of white people that like that. Yeah, there's some black ones out there too. Not right. a ton, yeah, less. Yeah. But I don't definitely don't trust any black people with no top lip. Right, right. Who, who sent you? <laughs> right, you right. And, and I'm I'm a fan of your top lip being darker than your bottom lip. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been, look, I've been looking at people's lips, and I'd be like, why is your top lip lighter than your bottom lip? How <laughs> did you notice this? Because you just said you notice top lips are, are skinny. I know it's I know when there's no lip. Yeah. But you're just like, different shades. Yeah, it, it's because I draw. Uh, so when you, you draw, you know what to shade on what parts. You got, you got, you got a finer attention to detail than I do yeah. for sure. I get that. Yeah, and when when people have, when people had those black black lips, it don't even like taper into their gums; <laughs> it just cut off. I saw somebody today yesterday. They had black lips and like a little pink on their lips. Oh uh, yeah, like, yeah, What's yeah. Here? Pick a color. Yeah, you ever see people with? Uh, this is very common too. You ever see people with uh, like dark skin gums? Mm-hmm. So I thought what does that mean? I thought that was a bad thing, but someone told me it was just pigmentation. It was like yeah. it's not really a big thing. It's like it's just pigment. So, but, the, so the question is, if you got, I need, to, I need to know who got black gums. Does their is their lip black? Too? Black like is their whole entire mouth? You don't see black gums and white teeth, right? So then you go like, oh okay, well you're not you're, your mouth ain't trash, right? <laughs> right, right. So I need to know, do they have any pink in their mouth? I don't know. Does, is there any taper? Let me look, man. It's, I gotta find out. It's the little dangly thing in the back, black. Th- <laughs> <laughs> he got a black throat. Yeah. Let's see, man. Let's Anybody see, in man. the comment section got black teeth? I mean, black teeth. You got black teeth. You go see a dentist now. What causes <coughs> black gums? Yeah. Who got black gums? What causes black gums? I had a mouth? crush on a on this girl when she turned me down. I roasted her black gums. Not seriously roasting them. <laughs> I don't. Have you ever seen a white person with black gums? No. No, no. I'm I'm trying to think. I've seen them. Maybe if they have like bad teeth, I don't know if they've been black though. Okay, the black gums can have many causes, including melanin. The body naturally produces melanin, which determines the color of skin, color hair, and eyes. People with higher levels of melanin are more likely to have darker gums, which is common to people of Africa, Asia, and Mediterranean ancestry. Asia smoking can also cause gums to darken by act- activating that. melanin producing cells. Hmm. Yeah. Medications, gum infections. Oh, yeah, there we go. Can't Let's care. <laughs> Um, black gums can also be caused by endocrine diseases like Addison's disease, hormonal changes, or amalgam tattoos. Mm. And amalgam tattoos occurs when silver dental filling material deposits into the gums after a dental procedure involves flat back or bluish gray or the gums. 
We learned mm. a lot right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's just, it's really supernatural. It's just create for the most part. Yeah. It's just pigmentation. Yeah. Uh, melanin. Yeah. I love how God definitely made us all like a fingerprint. Even though you are, you are, you could be a twin, you're not the same. Right. I, I love how like, yeah, this person has, you know, <laughs> black gums. And, you know, you ever seen people's fingers that's different? You ever seen, uh, you know, uh, Jah- Jahan's? Jahan's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nails? Maybe yeah. like over his over fingers. his fingers, yeah. Little 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 football helmets. <laughs> like, how did these things happen, man? How how many combinations of I'm noticed I never wanted to Hey John, what's up? No, no, you're perfect. You're perfect. Oh gosh. I'm just I'm just, I'm just thinking like when I, when I'm thinking about him, like, how do you cut your nails? Cause they, they curl down. Right, maybe just files. I don't know. Yeah, um, there, there's a lot of times like uh, like yo, she has like a like like little baby thumbs. Mm-hmm. They're like well, she's super, a small person. Well, she has like super small. Like she has her mom's thumbs, which mm-hmm. is crazy because nobody else in her family has her mom's thumbs. Small thumbs. And she was like, I hope Izzy doesn't have these thumbs. Oh boy, <laughs> that was the first thing she yeah, checked. Yeah, yeah. Izzy doesn't have these thumbs. Yeah, I was like, dang, they're roasting you because of your thumbs. Yeah, yeah. like yes, I get it. How many thumbs up was she doing? I don't know. I don't, she, I've never seen your thumbs. So, I mean, it's not even a problem to, like, it's odd. No, I didn't know until her sister, her sibling started. I was like, oh, I guess they're different. But I wasn't like, damn, look at them thumbs. Look yeah. like a big toe. Her thumbs look like a big toe. That's what Are they is. fat? Yeah, she's got, like, one fat thumb. Yeah. It looks like a big toe. It's like, mm-hmm. But, like, not like a huge big toe. But right, like, right. It's like, oh, this is big toe shape. This is definitely big toe. a big toe. <laughs> And another speaking of big toes, and her toes are really long. Like, oh no, you serious? <laughs> no. Okay. So, do you is your second toe big, longer than your first one? No, I'm normal. Is yours? My, no, mine is perfectly. Uh, in yeah, the, even all the way across. No, oh, it, okay. it goes big toe and it, and it gets smaller it, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, some people have toes like this that just straight across. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, everything's finally even. Right, right. Symmetrical. Why is your Pinky toe right here on the same level as your big toe. It's symmetrical. I can imagine corns you up. I wonder, does it help you run faster if your toes are longer? Like if your everything's I can even. Imagine. I can see your balance being better. Right. Right. That makes sense. I bet you Simone Biles has like even toes. Yeah, I can see that. Or or her her pinky and her thumb are like this long, and everything else is in, in the middle. They're curling around the mud. <laughs> And it's like, oh, you're very evenly balanced there. Yeah. And also, I'm thinking like the people who have the second. People in the comment section, y'all got y'all got the second toe bigger than the, than the big toe because I'm thinking like, how do y'all how do y'all measure y'all feet? Somebody into that though. Somebody like, ooh. It's not even about long not long being time. into it. I'm just thinking like how, if if I wear a size seven, right? Mm-hmm. And this is a seven, but that second big toe is like <laughs> sticking like, like I gotta go to a seven and a half. I don't know how far that reaches, but to have to go up a whole shoe size is <laughs> because or a of half. the second toe. And you just stump you like every time you stop, like ah, the second toe. <laughs> I was just a little too. too. And when you have sandals with women, mm-hmm. they be like, that's 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 when you see it all the time. Second toe, yo, that second toe. Like, oh, that second toe don't fit that sandal. Yeah, I'm so I'm sure she's trying to scrunch up her second toe so it all fits. To slide it back, it's, so it's just knuckle up. Yeah, I'm sure there's somebody. I I, I can probably Google it and it's more like no. The thing is, my fourth toe is the longest. <laughs> If I have somebody, I want to see one of the real my long fourth toe, toe is the longest, ironically. Well, I have eight toes now. My pinkies, what? Fell off years ago? No! Oh, that's nubs. There you go. That's nubs. <laughs> Gotta chop it off. Megan Fox has that short thumb, too. Uh, what other news? Um, I had a crush on his... I had a crush on this girl when she turned me down. I, oh, okay, my bad. You read that already. I work with the guy that has spoon fingers. With sp- that has spoon fingers, I can't pay attention. In <laughs> with spoon fingers, you know what's what's a spoon finger? What's up, twelves? What's a spoon finger? What up? Here's the thing, and I've said this numerous times. What does that looks like people who ha- people who have handicaps. Mm-hmm. Please know. You are an anomaly. Wait, what counts as a handicap? We're talking about people with different shaped fingers. Something that's so. odd. If, if it's like this, like if, if you see like a second, to- it's going to be attractive. Oh, what's happening? That's, that a, looks- that's a handicap? Something that, what is it? A defect? 
something that's not normal. If my hand was like this the whole time, you like, what, what are you doing, right? You 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 gonna look at it? That's very different from the uh, second toe. That's okay. Longer. But if you see my feet is out, <laughs> if you see my feet out, <laughs> and the second toe is doing this thing yeah, right I'm here, saying, man, look at your second toe. You defected. Is is <laughs> is this. defects considered? What are you counting as a defect? There's a there's a there's an original, a spicy original. <laughs> there there is a template for most humans, right? Defect is crazy. Word. I, what is the word? I, I, an anomaly. I, it's, they're just different. Why are you saying defect? Defect? There because we all going through a factory. <laughs> Something got knocked somewhere. You ever seen somebody, that dude who has a perfectly squared face? <laughs> He has a perfectly square face. It's like that's that's odd, and it, they have to understand that people are looking like, what? Why does why does his head shape like that? Calling somebody with a uh, short thumb or a defect. <laughs> what is the better word? Help me out. Help me out, son. So I don't go down in history as an asshole. What is they the said, word? <laughs> Look at your toes. Defective. Get the fact that you that gotta sit it back. <laughs> what is it called when, when something is uh at a grocery store that a recall? <laughs> if something on your body is a recall. Would you get, would they make fun of you back in the day? Like my ears would were, make fun were really of me? Big. Yeah, back in the day. Uh hips. Just, even as a kid? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You have that figure already as a child? Yeah. I would do a reverse uh, BBL. Like start starting my ass and don't and just leave the fat on the outside. <laughs> just suck all that out. Uh, and just and just leave it on, on the I'll table. take a hip shaving. I would do yeah. that. Like can you slim these down? Is, mm-hmm. that, is that possible? Yeah, I think our podcast should be called Hips Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> Posterior pals. <laughs> He just changed it every year. Yeah. Keister Cousins. <laughs> hey, this is this show is wild. <laughs> oh boy, my toes are proportioned though, just fat toes. <laughs> the Flintstone toes. Yeah, my second toe is the same length as my big toe. <laughs> Somebody said a mutation, a variation. <laughs> My brothers always climb my toes. In fact, they call me Flintstone. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, So considering everyone with glasses, uh, braces, and missing limbs as the most interesting people in the world. I mean, glasses glasses are normal. Are they? Why? why? Because it's not like, like, you got glasses? It's not not like it's going to draw your attention. It's not going to knock you out, like, to be like, whoa, whoa. Oh, because it's not a physical defect. That's what I'm saying. Like, if if you see somebody, like, like, you know, like their face like this, you, you know, it like just the stroke face, stroke face. Well, they you just know, had a stroke. Bell palsy, a burn. You know, they got burnt as a kid. And their faces. Now melted. they're defective. I'm just saying, oh if you say, help me. Oh, God. If you see somebody who has like, like so we want you guys to do a show for burn victims. <laughs> Dion walks in is like, like this. Look at all these defects. <laughs> hey, defected. What's happening? Look at you guys, man. Not normal anymore, are you? I have uh, some iron pills. Get it? <laughs> no? Nope. Was the exit? Oh, okay. boy. It's like someone uh, just threw you guys on the floor to get cheaper price on cans, huh? <laughs> huh? huh? No, nothing? Not you, bro. You only got one hand, huh? Okay, all right. Come on, brother. Come on. Oh, boy. <coughs> what is the word, You guys man? are the clearance aisle of people. Huh? Right here. <laughs> The, the clearest bin. Let me see what's up in here. So every all of one of y'all belong at what's, what's the store at Ross? Uh, Ross and TJ Maxx. Oh boy, that's wild. Should be called hipsters. Oh, that's a good one. Y'all are crazy. Hey Ray Charles, full blind but also a legend. Sure, defective. <laughs> Uh, all right. I think y'all taking this idea of some is, is y'all y'all went who is y'all went to the wrong direction. What I'm trying to say is if you have something that's an anomaly, mm-hmm. 
that's get defective. No, okay. that's the part y'all going to the wrong way. All I'm saying is when you have something that's odd, just out no, the normal, out of, out of the normal, mm -hmm. then people are going to look. Not special. It's not special. It's not that. Yeah. That's not the word. You're defective. I'm, I'm, I'm saying you just, freaks. Just know that you can't be upset if people are going to look. It's like it's like a uniform. If you go to a funeral in a bikini, just know that people are going to look because you are not like the normal, not not like the rest of us, right? I feel like this this is where it's wild. Here's the part that's wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you started off with little things, yeah, with the finger shape, toe yeah. shape, and you're like you're defective. <laughs> like these are very extremely minor. No, man, listen. The defective was. Have you ever have you ever bought like a bag of little, little army men, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and little green dudes that don't right. walk and those stuff. Right. Stands, right? Yeah, and you start standing them up. You start, and it's like one has like a little tiny piece that at the bottom that doesn't stand up. Like this was defective, but but that one doesn't work any. Like it doesn't work the same. It's different. You can shave it off to make it work. Sometimes it'd be like a, a foot. Like glued, like because they all they're all made in the same little factory. Sometimes it's like their arm is missing. It's like this this the one right here is gonna be my mole. They ain't gonna start a freak show with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Barnum and uh, uh what's his name? help me out with the word, y'all. Oh boy, they ain't gonna get to jump with some guy, some niggas with no arms. Like if someone Damaged has a goods. cleft palate or red face, yes, they're defective. Have you ever seen someone with a cleft mm -hmm. palate? Yeah. Or deviate the septum, <laughs> yeah. and you be like, you you be like, you be like, you see, you be like, oh, oh that's hey, your face. My is homeboy open. Howard, you know Howard, he has like a little cut right there on his lip. Howard Alonzo, you ever seen it? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's from that. I I think he had a deviate the septum. For real? I don't know, but I see it. <laughs> I, it's not the, that's not the that's a cleft lip. Uh, I see. So you it. don't know. You're just assuming I, 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 that he I, had surgery. I, I said something to him. I was hoping he's gonna like give me an alley oop to kind of finish it. Like what happened? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, D is that what happened when you, you got to a fight? And I was trying to like say it like, no. Nah. He said, you funny. And he just left that. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> I thought he was saying something like, I thought he was saying something like, uh, no, no, no. When I was born, uh -huh. and he just never got to. It's like you gotta find different ways to keep bringing yeah. it up. <laughs> His lip is cut. And Man, like, having a scar on your face uh, really makes you stand out. <laughs> Michael K. Williams had one. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. how he got that rose. My fat Uncle Scar. Oh, you yeah. That's what they call him, Uncle Scar. Scar, scar face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why? why, why? He takes the subject. Hey, what y'all eating there? <laughs> okay, we, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll come back around. We'll, <laughs> we'll come, come back, back around. around. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get somebody to talk about something they don't want to talk about, but you really want to hear it? Yeah. You're like, oh, man, it's crazy, yo. Yeah. Nah, you know, I had a little cousin. Yeah, so my cousin. He just got out of jail. Mm -hmm. He only did like a, I don't know what he would have went through. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> do you know? <laughs> he spent six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Can you give me, can you kind of, I was trying to set you up. No, he'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you can be upset for people, but not, what? Yes, you can be upset for people not controlling their staring so weird. Uh, but channel double chins. <laughs> Dimples, four heads or five heads, cross-eyed, pigeon-toed. Well, a chin or double chin is controllable. Yeah. That's all food effort. Right, right. <laughs> Dimples, cleft lip, web feet, pigeon-toed. Wait, what about dimples? That's considered a, def a default. What? I mean, that's a defect. It's not a defect. It is a defect. They're beautiful. What are you talking about? <clears throat> well, it's mine are even. Mine are perfect because they're symmetric. What yours is about? like this. Yours, <laughs> <laughs> yours is cock -cock. Mine both are right here. What are you no, talking no, about? They're, not. they're, they're not both the same, right here. They're not the same space. What man. are you talking about? Why are you trying to slide one closer? <laughs> they're both right here. <laughs> he said, they're, they're, <laughs> they're both symmetrical. What are you talking about? I see one on this side. The other, this one has hair covered. That's <sighs> all. No, that nigga's That's it. It's just look. This one had. Uh, oh, yeah. Boom. Hey, what y'all podcast about? Y'all just comparing dimples? <laughs> They, let me tell y'all, man. Lacaroni Chaz, they went 15 minutes talking about who got the better dimples. <laughs> this podcast is unhinged. Uh, Chaz has murder dimples. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? 
What's, what sucks is Izzy's looks so much better than mine. Yeah, because she don't have facial hair. I was like, man. She got the good. Women with facial hair. Mm-hmm. That's another. I don't that's think, odd. I don't think it's a. It's odd if you grow it out. <clears throat> but like hair, women women have hair. Yes, I'm, I'm. What I'm saying is that like if a woman grows it out, if she how put beard can, oil on and yeah. If a woman grows it out, mm-hmm. she just know that people are going to double take. Well, she's going in a freak show. The bearded woman. That's you, the thing. You be like, I'm like, oh, is that a man? Is that a transsexual? Is that a you know? Is that a man dressed as a woman? Is it a woman transitioning? You, you be like, oh, what's happening? It's a full beard. It's better than mine. She's like, hi. Hey. What's I, the secret? I, I really wish there was a trade for body parts. A what? A trade for body parts. A trade. A trade. Like, like as in like, hey, I know you don't want this. Like, there's a lot of women. This has nothing to do with me right now. There's a lot of studs who don't want their breasts. Okay. Like Punky, she cut mm-hmm. her breast off, right? Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, wow. And there's a lot of women who's like, I want breasts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of studs who's like, I don't like my attention mm-hmm. to my body. Mm-hmm. Get rid of these hips. Yeah. A lot of women's like, I would love to trade you for this. That's quite the uh, dedication. How's that? To get the breast off? Yeah. That's, that's major surgery. It's not major. Major surgery is like. <laughs> if they have to put you to sleep, we're in major surgery. Major surgery is like extending your femur. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to go underneath? Yes. Yeah, but that's a possibility of dying. Yeah, but it's not major. I don't know, man. Getting some titties cut off. Opening your chest is major. What's the hold on, what's it? It's, it's probably it's I, I would say it's probably three hours. <laughs> How would you even be realistic? <laughs> Watch this. I gotta call Google. Breast breast augmentation is probably like three hours. All you do is just scooping that mug out with an ice cream <laughs> scooper. <laughs> and then patching it down with some peroxide. <laughs> okay, Google. How long does it take for breast augmentation? Watch this. On the website carefriended.com, they say breast augmentation is usually an outpatient procedure, but some patients may be able to elect to stay overnight. Although you will need to arrive an hour or two ahead of time and will have recovery time after the procedure, the breast augmentation procedure itself typically only lasts between one and two hours. Boom! That's all I'm saying. There ain't no major surgery, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said one or two hours, homie. That's in and out, man. They just they just making sure they got an even even <laughs> chest. They like, let me see, let me see. Tat 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 tat. Anything goes wrong when you have to go underneath, yeah. bro. Once I, they put I that mask on you. Yeah. I, so so I went to go get uh, a not, uh, what's it called? Um, Breast augmentation. No. Oh, okay. What is when they go in your butt? Just check and see if you had uh, colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Mm-hmm. That's under. Is anal, that major surgery? Anal, did they put you to sleep? They put me under. Really? Yeah. That's that's the problem. You didn't have surgery though. But I went under. You said anything that put you up under, they got to put the mask on. But you didn't have surgery. Like we literally talked about major surgery. So what surgery is, is in the word. What is considered soldier, surgery? Anything that they have to. Okay. What's it? What's considered? Because because I had two polyps uh, and okay. they cut. And they removed the polyps. Dang, you had two polyps up in I there? I had two polyps in there. They were just in there hanging out, talking? Hanging out. Hey, what's up, man? Just... <laughs> they, were, they were dapping each other up like this. So, hey. what, so, so what made you get it? Did you like realize something was wrong? or? My dad had just died from, from uh, well, not because of that. My dad had... Mm-hmm. Uh, Colon cancer? No. It's the one with the P. Prostate, prostate. cancer. Uh-huh. Prostate cancer. Uh-huh. Uh, not cancer. He had prostate issues. Uh-huh. Not cancer. <clears throat> and then uh, that was the beginning of that year. Mm-hmm. And then he died that end of the year. Not from that. Not from the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was all in his. Mm-hmm. his. Um, but it was enough for you to go like, let me go get my yeah, booty let me, hole let me check. check. Let me check on the prostate. Uh, How about that time? I got to do it. Did you wait till 40 or did you do it before? I waited at 40. Mm. Yeah. I, mean, I got 39 around the corner. I might as well mm-hmm. check up in there. Get that pop shot. Yeah, I love how they stuck around. The thing is, it's like yeah, we cut the polyps, and my hair was like, and it, it, so you immediately tight your booty a whole like, <laughs> you start tightening like, do I feel anything missing? It is a little roomy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do I feel anything missing? You be like, do I, you just, you just can't cut off something. And I'm just gonna act the like everything. Is, they're like super tiny, right? Yeah, no, yeah, 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 mm. yeah. You just be like, you just, what, what I feel anything missing? You know, how you get a, like a wisdom tooth taken. You like, oh. Do I try? <laughs> I feel like the polyp was in there, like yeah, man. You know, oh, look, look, here comes the camera. <laughs> here comes the camera. Cool, cool, cool. Hiding the crevices. 
<laughs> Let me rub the shit on my face. Oh, you ever see you ever see those uh, animals that go up to the camera? Like, <laughs> what the hell is this? My pop was trying to do blackface. They had put <laughs> on their face like, I'm just a turd. Just <laughs> Don't a turd. mind me. I'm, I'm hanging out. Just a tear. Yeah, yeah. Dumb. Yeah. Uh, I'm sick of these things. <laughs> Big sis, Chris. <laughs> Big sis. Hey, hey, she is in L.A. <laughs> <sighs> Four hours for my hand, they put me under. Uh, it's called an expiratory surgery, right? I don't know. Nope, it's a surgical procedure. What is the polyp removal? Mm hmm. Um, like has creator soup bowl dimples, chest dimples are sneaky. Sneaky? <laughs> Preacher guys disrespecting my dimples, okay? <laughs> They're cute and adorable on my face. Okay. What did I say, Moyo, that, that she said, I'm, I'm so glad I'm not a doctor? What did I say that was wrong? This is the wildest convo someone can hear while, <laughs> while I'm on lunch. Which part? <laughs> we've, we've, we've crossed some wild territories already. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know which part yeah. you're talking about. That's yeah. the most wildest. What's the wildest conversation we've ever had? For you, for right. y'all have watched. Yeah. For y'all have watched. What is the most wildest conversation we've had in the ninety six seven episodes of? Black I don't Ranger even Jazz? think they can. We, we we can't be top man. <laughs> Nothing that we say is is odd. It's the defect. I want I want to know what you're like. Yo, you know what? You guys are talking about blah 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 blah. That stood out. Yeah, got to be episode one. <laughs> We're talking about murdering oh, the boy. different ways of murder. That was a classic. Yeah, classic episode. Yeah, but we went like three hours. You can be classic out the gate with it, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could be here for a while. I want to know what people's <laughs> opinions are. What's the most wildest thing we've talked about here? We, you know, I talked to What's you. What's up, CMD? I talked to you yesterday about this. Mm -hmm. And I wanted your thoughts on it because I don't think you really thought about it. Mm -hmm. Premeditated murder. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, and this, this is inspired off of. A guy found out that no a girl found out that her husband was cheating and she drove seven states. I can't think of the states like from mm -hmm. Texas to Florida mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to Sorry. kill uh -huh. to kill the the mistress. OK, she failed at it. She failed. She failed. Was she ran out it of gas? No, or as in she didn't she didn't kill the person. Okay. So I'm thinking like that's a long time to be like, I'm about to throw my life away. Mm -hmm. So what I asked you, <clears throat> if someone had did something to your loved one mm -hmm. and you have to drive six hours mm -hmm. to murder somebody, do you think you start talking to yourself like, this is not worth it? I I'm I'm about to ruin my entire career. I could call the police and just say, hey, meet me here. This is stupid. You know what? I, I pray that God forgives this person because what I'm about to do, I need to be God-like. Or you can be like, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to kill this person. I'm not involving God in this combo because he's going to try to talk me out of it. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try. Yes. So, so, but the thing is, you're not getting off now. God, hey, Chaz, I'm not here. Turn the music up so I can't I'm hear him. <laughs> Because, like, because at the moment, if you see someone doing something harmful to your loved one, yes, you have the right to to defend your loved ones at the moment. Because, like, I blacked out and I shot this person. But if you like, you packing up and boxing up suitcases and you put stuff in your trunk and you driving, give me the address. I want to know where his children live. So, so that, that when it comes like that, that's like, okay, you're going to jail, jail. I don't believe in murder. Okay. I believe in torture. Torture. I don't want you to get off. Off. Of, I shoot you in the head. You don't get to suffer. Mm -hmm. What satisfaction do I get watching you die? Mm -hmm. And then I gotta go to jail. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go in for kidnapping. How much time do you get for torturing somebody? Mm. I want to know. Right. This is That's premeditated this is, torture. This is good. I go. Oh, okay. I bought this house and I had this dungeon. <laughs> Right, <laughs> so that's what I spent this money on. Yeah, and I've made up this whole uh, 14th century uh, medieval torture yeah. chamber. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I I'm in the back of the person's car when they look in the rearview mirror. <laughs> <laughs> right. I yeah, got yeah. It. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. They tied up in the trunk. They wake up. They're tied up to the new house. Yeah. And then I go like. <laughs> He thought it was cool to assault my daughter, did you? Yeah. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, come here. Stab him in the leg. <laughs> I have her do it. You brought her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, she got to get her vengeance in. Stab him right through the kneecap. Uh, ah, ah. No one can hear you scream. It's like, I, I'm not responsible for this. I didn't touch him. <laughs> I, I, all I did was kidnap. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, oh, you hungry? And I just feed him slivers of his own to him. Fried. This is dick skins. <laughs> it's like pork rinds. <laughs> oh, you don't and have he, to eat it. Yeah, until you're hungry. <laughs> but that skin will grow back. That's a good thing about skin. Let her come back. Yeah. You just keep eating your skin. I need to know how much how much time you'll get for kidnapping. Yeah, let's see. What's the, how it's it's got to be a lot of time. <laughs> it's not a... Yeah. But I'm kidnapping an adult, so it's got to be better, right? <laughs> you mean like cheaper? Not, not, <laughs> like not, less time? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I don't know why it's called kidnapping for adults. It's crazy. Mm. How much time... What's the max, right? What's the max? Yeah. I guess I guess it depends if there's like weapons and stuff. So what's the max? Let's, let's just let's just say you 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 had them kidnapped for a month. Okay, a month. Let's see. All right. So max sentence for kidnapping depends on the circumstances, crime. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Uh, attempted kidnapping can be up to twenty years in prison. Twenty years. Mm-hmm. You might as well kill him. Okay, okay, hold on. Well the maximum him. sentence for a federal kidnapping is life in prison or the death penalty. Sheesh. If someone dies as a result of the kidnapping, which I'm not doing, right? Mm-hmm. I'm keeping someone alive. Yeah. So it can't be premeditated or mur- murder at all. Yeah. Uh, conspir- all conspiracies really receive life in prison even if they don't succeed in the kidnapping. Ooh. So if you try to kidnap, you still get... All conspirators can receive. Can. Mm-hmm. Possibly, so yeah. may my daughter be wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> involving, ooh, here's the part. Involving minors. <laughs> if the victim is under eighteen, and the kidnapper is over eighteen, and not a close relative, the kidnapper can receive a minimum. Okay, if oh. the victim is under eighteen, mm-hmm. and the kidnapper is over eighteen, and not a close relative, the kidnapper can receive a minimum of twenty years in prison. Minimum, minimum of twenty years in prison. Kidnapping. That's crazy. Let me see your ID. <laughs> How old are you? Let me, okay, let me see. You okay, old. okay. You... Kidnapping. Oh, here we go. Okay. Kidnapping for a ransom, reward, or extortion, life in prison <laughs> with the possibility of parole if the victim doesn't suffer bodily harm or death. This one is in this scenario. Yeah. Or life in prison without parole if the victim does. Aggravated kidnapping, life in prison. It doesn't say what exactly yeah. that is, but I think that's why I fall under. Aggravated yeah. kidnapping. Kidnapping during a carjacking. Devin is criminally liable for carjacking, but shouldn't be convicted of kidnapping during carjacking. Is that just okay, aggravated kidnapping? All these are 20 years plus. Aggravated kidnapping is punishable by life in prison with the possibility, with the possibility of parole. Mm-hmm. If the victim suffers bodily harm or death as a result of kidnapping, then the punishment is life in prison. Damn, what kind of bodily harm are we talking about? A Any slap? bodily harm? Yeah, a slap. This is why you just have to keep him in a torture chamber so is, he won't get is, caught. Is peeing on them bodily harm? No. What if they have a, a, a jellyfish thing? Right. right. You're helping them. Right. Right? Yeah. He's like, oh, my God. You help. You help. You pee them. like, what? I got to take it to urgent care. And they what like, if- he's kidnapping that girl. <laughs> <laughs> he peed on her. What if you just keep stinging somebody with a jellyfish and then you keep peeing on them? Because that's how you get off. <laughs> that's how you get off. Oh, you need urine. Dude. Here's the thing. I just found out. I'm gonna Google it. Mm-hmm. Peeing on somebody after they get getting bit or stung by a jellyfish is a tall tale. Really? It's fake. It doesn't do anything. Isn't pee sterile? I don't know what that means. Uh, Why is this? Okay, Google. Does urine stop the stinging of a jellyfish? Get aggravated. Ah! I don't know who started that. What creep was like, yeah, what you got to do is got to be. I wonder how many innocent people got peed on. I got it. I got it from here, homie. Who started this? Hey, 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 hey. Help. Does anybody have to pee? You got to pee on them. And it was like, watch. It's not working. Okay, it's really infected then. That that, <laughs> that rumor kept going around like, hey, hey I know what to do. Pee I on them. So isn't sterile like, let me, let me just get the definition. What does sterile mean? Yeah. It's a, it can aggravate it. The funny thing is, is 
the, the wild thing is free from germs. As a man and a person is stung by a jellyfish, you are you you are one exposing yourself <laughs> to them because you got to pee on them, and then and then two. Uh, it doesn't work. So now it's just like, I just exposed myself to you. I'm aggravated. <laughs> I, I've aggravated the sting. I've heard that urine is sterile for years. This says, no, urine is not <laughs> sterile. First thing, it's going to burn out. Urine from healthy tip people typically contains bacteria, even in low amounts. Low mountains? Low amounts. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, buddy. So many lies. So now you're in what the if, ER. What if you got stung by a jellyfish <laughs> and spicy. mad people just keep peeing on you? You're like, no. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> it wasn't even up there. <laughs> I said, I, I, said I, I like jelly. <laughs> oh, all right. My first wildest convo was the surviving underwater by siphoning someone's fart. Yeah, that was the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> if you're drowning, <laughs> if you're drowning, can you get an extra chunk of air by ciphering the air from someone's fart? Well, <laughs> and you took a straw <laughs> and just sucked it. Or if somebody had an air bubble and they farted, could you go? Yeah, like Sonic. Like Sonic. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so only kidnap family, huh? <laughs> yep, that's what it seems like. Adult family. <laughs> and don't bodily harm them. My guy, Dion, finally fixed his Appalachian noise. What's that mean? Appalachian noise? Uh, and then it was downhill from there. So many crazy. Are you talking about the woman that was in the diapers to what to drive straight there? That one, the lady was in a diaper. Yeah, who said that? The lady was in a diaper. Yeah, because she didn't want to stop to pee. <laughs> she peed in herself. She was an astronaut. That was great. Oh, that's old though, right? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, she had the whole astronaut setup. She's like, I gotta kill this chick, and it failed. And I'm like, I don't know. I forgot what happened. I don't know if um. They caught her, or she tried to kill him, or tried to run her over, and and then the girls got away. Yeah. Man. We got. I thought she was a deer. <laughs> I didn't know. It was Why a... are you here in Florida? <laughs> uh, the hotel employee feet sucking convos up there. <laughs> Boy said this is becoming the wildest. <laughs> Yellow, I'm back. What's up, Miss Beeve? You nasty. What's happening? We getting here. Uh, someone whose last name is Kelly made that up. <laughs> a P and a P. Oh boy. <laughs> what? I got an idea, y'all. Jay Pugspade is on the money with what? Oh, R. Kelly. I got you. Uh, so now you're in the ER, pissy stung by a deadly fish. <laughs> it's terrible day. I've never understood how anyone could say you're in a sterile because it's written body of imperials. I always thought about that too. Yeah. White noise. Oh, you got rid of the white noise? It's just normal. It's a normal setup. Me and Twill's going to figure this out tonight. <clears throat> Me and, we doing body lock tonight, y'all. Um, but yeah, what if, what if it was a hospital by the beach? And it's like, why does every time somebody gets stung by a jellyfish, they always come here and smell pissy? Bro, it was probably just like some freaky lifeguard who was like, oh, man, this is the best job because I just be like, you been stung? <laughs> What you gotta do is pee on them. Just lay down right here. Yeah. Close your eyes, kids. <laughs> and the funny thing is, this one could have happened. It could have got like cut by like a can in the in the in the water in the water in the ocean. <laughs> and it was like, ah, I think I bit by a jellyfish. And it was like, just pee on it. It's like, it worked. And it was like, I don't think that was a jellyfish. <laughs> that was just a random rock. That's just that that's that like those rumors become like the law to us. We go yeah. like here we get stung. Right. But no one's ever been like, hey, this right. is found wrong. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a news report say that it was that was this is not the right thing to do. Don't do that. Just go to your local hospital. Yeah. Ah. Somebody probably got stung and uh what? Peed on themselves and it caught on. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, your leg was fine after that? Yeah, I just I just peed on it and mm -hmm. 
Everything was fine, yeah. And I, ne- I had, haven't had a problem since. Speaking of P, mm-hmm. I heard um, men had the advantage of lowering the risk of getting any sort of infections. Uh, <clears throat> after sex, mm-hmm. you can pee it out. I know it sounds wild. I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> as in, if you, it, as in, you know, certain <laughs> you just flush the std right now <laughs> no you peeing it out because it our stds are in the in the in the urethra mm-hmm. and if you get it quick enough <laughs> don't let it like like you know rest so you're in saying the, i can pee out hiv no no she's like i got hiv, HIV is don't worry a blood I, gotta, thing. I gotta pee anyways <laughs> hiv is a blood thing i'm talking about like if you had something like you know Cause I, I don't know if you know, but like STDs are in the men's shaft, the hole, mm-hmm. the urethra. Mm-hmm. I'm not experiencing this. Please continue, Dion. <laughs> and uh-huh. and it just grows on the the pee heart, mm-hmm. pee part. So that's why when it, people say it burns when I pee, it's because your your circle is becoming smaller because it's growing in there. Mm-hmm. So that's what it's like. It's like like a water hose. It's like Oh, it's like you know, trying to get out. How many times have you been through oh this? Gosh, yo, why, why are you making this personal, yo? You know, it's funny. About it's STD. never got to a point that you can only get an STD from someone, right? Versus what? Like you just don't. Have, oh, I got an STD. Someone's literally got to be like, oh, you, what happened? <laughs> you got what? Well, you're the only one I slept with. Mm-hmm. What's well, called sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah, but, but I'm saying you wake up one day, you go like, "This dirty motherfucker." <laughs> no, <laughs> like you have to get it yeah. from somebody. Well, also remember the whole rumor, and this is a, a herpes rumor. Mm-hmm. This is where it gets a bad rap. Okay, herpes can give it, can be attracted on toilet seats. Mm. So that's how people say. And remember a whole thing with AIDS, like in AIDS, you can't get it from sitting on toilet seats. <laughs> but herpes, we here. How pissed would you be? <laughs> would you even believe your spouse if they were like, I must have sat in that toilet seat in there? I'm like, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> See no goddamn toilet seat. I was I was I was having a bowel movement and my penis had touched it like I was that. at a gas station. Oh boy. hmm You were at a gas station. Hey, mm-hmm. I thank God that I am a male. It's been a lot of gas stations that I've been in. A lot of porta potties. Hey man, I pee from long distance. <laughs> I'll sit back, arch I'm up. like, I'm sorry. Because once you walk up to that little puddle, I'm right on the edge of the puddle. Ah, from then, ah, I just ladies, add to the puddle. I give y'all mad respect. There has been numerous times. I went to a, oh my God, we, me and my girls were driving back from uh, Louisiana to LA. We went to this gas station. It's random. And it was, it, it, it was in the middle of nowhere. So this was the place that everybody pissed in. Yeah, so gross. It was so bad. I'm walking down the aisle to the restroom. I was like, that can't be the piss. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be the piss. I walk in. It is wet already. I said, all right. I'm standing at the doorway and I'm going to contribute to the wetness on the ground. I'm not I'm not going nowhere near any of this. I'm peeing everywhere. Peeing in the puddle. <laughs> I'm aiming oh. for the urinal. I'm a I'm a aim for the urinal. Yes. What makes it makes it with Oh doesn't, my doesn't. god, I'm not yo. Stepping up to that. Splish. Yeah. Splish. I went to a no. Griff, Griffith Park mm-hmm. has urinals at the bottom of their park before mm-hmm. you hike or, or after you hike. I'm just peeing in the area. I'm peeing outside somewhere it's, in the nature. Man, I mean, where's well, children here, though? Oh. Griffith Park is pretty popular. Oh. So so I went in there. I was like, I was like, who, who on the ground? Like, I walked in. I said, oh, what? I, I was so pissed because I walked in and, I, and, and, and right when I was about to close, I said, what? Oh. Who was like, I can't even slide to the to the seat. And I went back out and I said, I gotta pee in the woods. Yep. I'm gonna go in the where it's dangerous and where the where the foxes are at <laughs> and pee in the woods. Foxes and think, ooh, a cooked wiener. <laughs> <laughs> you ever when last you peed in the public? Uh, it's been a while. Does my car count? I yeah. peed at a bottle in my car. Yeah. Yeah. No. I do that from time to time. That doesn't count. Okay. But I haven't just like peed behind something in a yeah. long time. I'm like, oh, 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 let me find a safe place. Yeah. When I do my white woman walks in the morning, 
Your what? Uh, my white woman walks. I call it my internet walks because it's www. Your white woman <coughs> walks. My white woman walks. Yo, why, I touch, why can't why can't it just be a ring? <laughs> That's how I be walking. You see white women in the malls in the morning. They do give me. They do be old in that mall, yeah. just walking, <laughs> getting that work in. Um, so you know, I, I usually bring my coffee cup. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, I am way too far from my house, mm -hmm. and I was like, I need to find like a crevice. And the whole time I'm like. Red light, no people, no sound, no cameras. And I was like, this is a good spot the right good here. The good thing about being downtown is no one cares. You just, yeah. just got to be like, rah, rah, and they'll just think, oh, it's a homeless dude. Be on me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not like you're in the Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. It's downtown LA, you can literally pee anywhere. Yeah. And just walk down the street and talk to yourself. Yeah. But I don't know, I don't know what it is about men I can't hold my pee very long. Yeah. Not to say I have a weak bladder, but I I think I filled my entire bladder up and said, you're going to start lip dripping, <laughs> leaking. But when it comes to my bowels, I'm like, I can probably hold this for another seven hours. I feel like that's the one you don't want to risk. I, I, go, I know. One slippage. <laughs> you like, I don't know if this is gas. <laughs> or just yeah, yeah. Because you might be like, nope. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> come back. <laughs> Retract. I definitely. Please. You mean yourself before? No. Oh boy. No. I've been. I've been to the point where I'm like, <laughs> come back. Ah! Hey, ah! Get in the front door. <laughs> <laughs> I've, keys. Had, I've had some close. Yeah. Calls. Yeah. I've had a call. Like <laughs> I've had it where I've been at my toilet. My legs are getting weak. <laughs> ah! Why do I have overalls on? What? Why do I? <laughs> why, do I why am I in a tutu? We do me a a leotard. I've been, I've had some uh, I've had some close calls. And I go like, hey dude, I don't know if I'm gonna make this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This times, man, when I've been driving and I'm like, oh, this is happening. Yeah. This is the best places to go. You gotta go find a Denny's. Yeah. You gotta go find like one of the one of those twenty four hour diners, bro. And the worst is. The worst is you try to be. <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say. The worst is you don't want to cause too much commotion. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> where you want to sit? Can I have a key? <laughs> can I have a key to the bathroom, please? Ma'am, can, ma can, can you talk to her? How you doing, brother? Hey. <laughs> you should get the uh, Rudy Tooty Fruity Pooty. Here the times I've been in there. Hi, I will see you move. Move. <laughs> I'm here for you. Move. I need the key. What's the code? <laughs> Someone's in there. Cool. Someone's in here. <laughs> you, just, hey, you, hey. Just, you just grab them off the toilet. <laughs> off the toilet. I gotta go. <laughs> it is a little kid watching TikToks. <laughs> Get your ass up. Be productive. Go spend time with your family. <laughs> I had to grab, to grab somebody off the toilet. <laughs> you are done. <laughs> And he can't walk because he's been there so long. Like, oh! He got the newborn deer legs. <laughs> Daddy, some man touched me in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to understand? <laughs> Come on, man, give me like 15 minutes. Man. You can whoop my ass you. after, man. Let me just finish this. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I got to go. Oh, Ooh, the man. Is putting, that, putting that toilet paper down, nigga. Uh, so <sighs> Listen, man. <sighs> There's been times I'm like, I have to just alcohol wipe my ass. Oh boy. Later. This is happening. Yeah. My my legs are weak. They went numb. Yeah. My lower body is no longer responding. Yeah. Cause cause the funny thing is, you be like, you be like, <sighs> you be like, seat cover. Okay. <sighs> Ten little part. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Automatic toilet flush. <laughs> seat cover go. No, come back. Okay. No, man. Oh, uh, you have it's it's that's a terrifying thing. I've had it before, man, when like I start getting hot. I was in the gym. Oh no. I went to the gym the other day and I, my stomach was a little whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I was like, oh, I'm alright. And I was doing these abs. I remember I came up and I was like, hmm. And I was like, I must have squished everything yeah. down. But it was like I have to go now. now. Yeah. And I went to the bathroom, and so in my in my gym bag, I usually have wipes, and I have like the alcohol wipe. 
things. <laughs> None of them. Yeah. I said I was going through. <laughs> I dropped the bag, <laughs> took the hoodie off. I was in there ass naked, dog. Everything. That's Drip. Right. I was dripping sweat. Yeah. And not even from like the workout. It was from. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. was like, I don't know what hit me, yeah. but I was like. Then I was just sitting in. I mean, I was just drained. Yeah. After. Was like, uh, yeah. Head yeah. on against the wall. Uh huh. So you know, I got every whatever. I got every, every STD. Uh -huh. Every germ. Let me go ahead and get all of it. I got. Yeah. I just want to make sure the tip of my don't hit the toilet ah! bowl. I just tuck it in here. It's like you just you stay right here, protected. Oh, <laughs> so this is so for women. A lot of women don't know this. A lot of women don't know this. Women think that our penis is on the outside of the toilet when we're using the restroom. Like on top of the lid? They think it's on the outside. They don't know what that. What do you mean? Because they think when, they see, when, when women see men, they think that our penis stay out like this. They don't know that we push it down <laughs> to pee in the toilet. Yeah. And they like, so, so, ugh. So, you, so when you boo-boo, it splashes up to your balls and penis and stuff. I'm like, yeah, there's a whole video on Instagram about w women are like blown away that they think that we keep it on the outside. Of the toilet seat? Of the toilet. Like just resting on because it? Because they don't, they can't fathom the fact that they have nothing there going down. They think that we just up all the time. Just tuck it in erect. the bowl, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's in there. We just erect all the time. It's in there. Oh, and, just uh, tuck it in the I, bowl. I, I find that video. Uh, they're like, yeah, is this true? Is this true? I'm like, yeah, it's in there. And sometimes, sadly, sorry, ladies, your peen will touch that water if you are blessed. Or, you or get if the, the water's high. Or you get the splash up. Yep. <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> in your booty hole, like, no. Oh. <laughs> or the balls. Hit your balls. Yep. Oh. Yep. And, and the worst, the worst, whew, I'm, I'm, I'm telling all the secrets. The worst is you try to get a courtesy flush and that water start going up. Oh, the panic. <laughs> Your balls is cold. Oh, oh no. Boy, the no. panic. If you get clogged on a courtesy flush, we're yeah. in trouble. <laughs> that water start rising? Yeah, because like, I got a lot more to oh, go. Oh, man, we were just started. <laughs> We've only just begun. That was first quarter, baby. We get started. Oh, that's yeah. no problem. Yeah. Yeah, you got to put it in there. Never realize that thing hits. Hits to water. Those were, what? I never realized that thing hits to water. Uh, and if it's the worst of the country. Oh, man, my bad. Let me read what y'all talking about. We went on a long one. Uh, 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 somebody probably got stung and pee on the cell. Okay, caught on. I have held to infinity. What? I have held to infinity not to go pee. Sounds like a theory from the same person that said she can't get pregnant if she on top. <laughs> Uh, no. CMD. Um, <laughs> Twitter says road trips are the worst. Don't get caught in flip flops. Road trips oh, are the boy. worst. What do you mean? Road trips are the worst. Don't get caught in flip flops. For what? Oh, to have to go pee? Yeah. Okay, I got oh, you saying. Oh, yeah. I, I never wear sandals or flip flops. So. Uh, kids and no ladies have it bad. Either they're too little to squat or too old. Uh, yeah, you gotta send that toilet. I been, I hold Good my job, daughter up B. still. I still hold her up. Uh. <laughs> uh, it only takes one person. Um, the knee injury took me out. The squat game was trash. <laughs> and it's worse in other countries. In Asia, you only have the hole in the floor. Ooh. But surprisingly, most of the time it's clean. That seems like it's... It better be clean. Oh, it would just pop. They don't flush? No, it's just a little hole in the ground. So how do they get it out? It's, it goes right they in just the ground. light it on flat, but where to where? It's, like it's it's like imagine if your toilet just got removed. There's a hole in there. Sure, you're squatting down in there. But until how long? Until it like fills it up? Goes down in a little drain. It's, it's, so it just gets drained Shepard somewhere. Tank. Yeah, somewhere. Okay, I'm sure. It's as a long as it goes, I might almost like just keep piling up, and eventually oh. you gotta start from the top or just light it on fire. <laughs> Uh, and it's worse. Okay, it makes you think how messed up paraplegic folks in public bathrooms get. Yeah, got it. Uh, I was in the army for 13 years. This is Miss B. I've peed in a lot of places. I've utilized the tree line, horrible, disgusting, porta potties, bathrooms, you name it. 
Uh, Spicy says that was the one story you told on to when you were about the what? That was the one story you told on here about the TV landing on your naked body. Oh, when your nephew killed. That was a wild. That was a wild story. Yep. That was a wild one. <coughs> Tell him yeah. to scoot over. Have to carry your own protection. Pooping in public is not preferred. No, never is. Never realized that thing. Okay, we're down here now. My eyes starting to water. Mm-hmm. You're getting emotional, brother. <laughs> I'm emotional. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's getting worse. I can't even see the words. Can you read? <laughs> oh, well, you leave off at what last thing you read? Yeah, right here. Some come something. Some so some older women left mm-hmm. the door unlocked while she was using in, and I accidentally walked. In, oh boy! Apologized and walked away. She came out later and told me, "I'm not gonna give you my number." What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you walk in and ask for the number? <laughs> Hey, let me get your number. Oh, I'm so good. She said, I know what you were doing, young mm-hmm. man. You saw the gutties. Mm-hmm. You know he smashed. Some places, Why you lie? if a full septa tank, septa system, but you are just squatting. Asian flushes and no P- TP. Um, they have a water hose to clean to clean self. Maybe like a, what's it called? A dubet, dubet. A dubet. Yeah. I have one I'm supposed to set up, and I have not yet. You have one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got one for free from Daddy. Says I've still never set it up. Mm-hmm. I was like, "What yeah, are you waiting I need on?" It, man. I need I'm it. scared of the squirt. <laughs> hey, you afraid of the squirter? Um, bidet. I'm sorry. A bidet. What'd you say? A duvet. Dubay. Remember our, our <laughs> you said boy, a Mike, name? Michael Dubay. Oh, Michael Dubay. Yeah, I, I always get his name mixed up because it's reversed. I wonder how he's doing. Yeah, he in Tennessee or something like that now. Tennessee. Like that. <clears throat> Let me ask you this though. Uh huh. This is this is a left. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's a hard left. Uh-huh. Are you attracted to? Well, let me go. Let me go with ages. Okay. Because obviously, it's gonna be things have changed. Over now. eighteen. No. But keep, uh-huh. So let's say let's say what's, over twenty. No, you are. Okay. You are eighteen. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Did you get attracted to promiscuous promiscuous women? As in, like, hey, yo, everybody. No, I was a big prude then. Yeah. Yeah, I was very like, no, we're going to just only be with each other. And mm-hmm. I don't know if I ever asked body count, then probably. Mm-hmm. Probably was one of these immature dudes who thought it meant something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I could care less now. Mm-hmm. I saw this debate, though. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, was there more to that? No, no, keep going. What's the debate? They were talking about why men prefer a woman who hasn't been around or who hasn't, who have like a very low body count or like are, are virgins. Mm hmm. And they were like, yeah, because, you know, we're talking about, like, we do want a car with all these miles. I was mm-hmm. like, I never on earth want to be with a virgin. Mm-hmm. Never. I mean, it has to happen. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I want to be with a sex demon. I want to be. <laughs> I want to be with the woman who's like, you know, you're never going to be the same after this. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's, she's smoking a cigarette. Blowing smoke holes. <laughs> the holes. You know what they call me a hole, right? Because <laughs> here come the smoke holes. Uh huh. And then I'll be like, oh. <laughs> what else can you do? <laughs> so, so if that's the case, you were attracted to promiscuous women. Like, more, more so now, but not, not for the fact of being promiscuous. It's like, as in, like, she's good. At there this. was a time in my life when I dated an older woman, I said, this is how you sex mm-hmm. someone up. Right. This is that's what, this is when I was like she 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 mastered this mm-hmm. and I was like that yeah why, why why I was like why would I date right I don't date no virgin never trying to figure it out yeah no it's it's wild how our, how men think <clears throat> this is what I'm trying to get to mm-hmm. because as a as a young man mm-hmm. you were like oh I love me a freak I love me a girl <laughs> who knows what, she, what she's doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I want her to do all the positions and things mm-hmm. I've seen in porn. And then when you get to an age like 40, you be like, I want me a pure girl. <laughs> it's like, I want me a girl who hasn't been tainted or touched. I want them nastier. Yeah. And it's just like, it's, I'm sorry, at your age now, bro, it's, they, they are divorced, two children. It's like, oh, I need to find me. And that's why a lot of guys go back to like the, the younger girls, which just sucks. No, man, I, I figure like this. I go like... Yeah, you want you want the rookie or you want the seasoned vet? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be like I'm on yeah. my last leg, but this is gonna sound gay. But the LeBron of gay of girl is what you want. 
It's like, yeah, you thirty, you thirty seven, and you yeah. still averaging twenty seven. Yeah, you want that one? Twenty years in, and you still doing these numbers? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But that's very rare. Very rare. Yeah, that's why. Like, if, if if somebody said you want a Victor Wembanyama, <laughs> Wembanyama, it'd be like in a couple years I'll come circle back around. Yeah, but. I'm not. I'm not big on that. I could care less about body count. It don't mean nothing to me whatsoever. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're healthy, mm -hmm. and you're disease free, means way more. You know what you need? Yeah. You need the girl who was the biggest of hoes, mm -hmm. and she made a whole life being nothing <coughs> but uh, a sex goddess, mm -hmm. right? She she knew how to get exactly, and then she turned her life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you want. And then she's born again. Yeah. And then she finds you, mm -hmm. or some old porn star. Yeah. Who's like, you know what? That's what you need. There you go. This is in the same range. Mm -hmm. Some porn star who never really made it. <laughs> so no one really knows who she is. Uh -huh. And she's like, I just shut down my OnlyFans. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really making me the money. But she has all the skills. Mm -hmm. It was just like, all you needed was some more attention. That's just what happens with most comedians. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> they you, just need the exposure. <laughs> you, you ever get jealous? Have you ever circled a block? Of a girl? With yeah. a girl you should date? Yeah, uh -huh. as in like, you know, I used to date her back in 98 and you came back and you hear the old stories. As in like. Was somebody else been yeah. with her? Uh, that's yeah. never happened. <laughs> I've never heard someone else be like, oh man, let me tell you what she learned <coughs> no. since then. I'm talking like, like, there's a, there's a, there's a girl that I used to mess with mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. And she went on to, to go to her old faithful. Mm -hmm. And... And I was like, yeah, we, we ain't no relationship. We, we cool. We mm -hmm. don't just, you know, we just, we just, you know, sex buddies. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you, you, you be like, I hope he, I hope he's trash. I hope he, come. she comes running back and say, this is trash. <laughs> and uh, yeah, sure enough, I was the whole time I was thinking like, I need for this to be a terrible experience. So she was like, I'm sorry, I'm coming back to you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Call me Daddy Good yeah. Dick for it now. Did, it, didn't, it didn't happen. She's like, he's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Everything I remembered. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. You know, yeah. I slightly hurt. Slightly. Yeah. Still smashed though. Mm -hmm. On the on the comeback. You were just like, <laughs> a little extra effort. <laughs> yeah. Again, again. Nobody. Did you ask? Uh, uh, so. Uh, who was be who was better? <laughs> you know when you when you're young and mature, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, he, he's, uh, when he's, you was with him, he's thicker. He feels he fills you up more. <laughs> Have you ever hit you with but this I, but, but <laughs> <laughs> He ever hit you with the reverse monkey grip? Huh? Oh boy. And she's like, yeah, 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 been there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, go go a little deeper. You like, so all right, but does he pick you up? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Oh, Lord. I, I think it is. Just cool down a little. I think I feel something. <laughs> she feel this. You good down? Is your base solid? Huh? I got nothing. I'm back on the bed. <laughs> back on the bed. <laughs> now you. <laughs> Can we that Gatorade? <laughs> I, I think my electric lights are low. <laughs> You be trying to breathe up. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanna take a no. break? Gosh, dude. Uh, no. The worst is sweating on top of them. Oh, uh, definitely sweating on some. <laughs> this, this is Yeah, you try, you be like, I I, I gotta go up. Cause <laughs> I gotta I gotta let the sweat go this way. <laughs> because I'm me be on top of you. You be trying to hit it from the slip on her back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh boy! Sorry about that, he just flattened her. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, I can't get a good grip. And it's funny, dude. So, some being on top of some certain women, they got different like your stomach versus her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you <find> the slappers, <laughs> you be like in there. Listen, who's clapping for us? <laughs> yeah, because it makes that cup noise. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be this. Cause it's hollow. It's not like this. Yeah. You try to hold yourself again. Like, it's the suck. <laughs> and then it, it'll separate your sway. <laughs> <laughs> you 
hey, let, let's switch positions. You just turned to the side. I don't like my stomach's clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Like yep. you two stick, and you separate. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Is that is is that me being wet? No, that's our stomachs. No, that's our like, slapping, our slapping, sweaty. slapping bellies. That's our sweaty stomachs. Oh, stupid! Yeah. I've been trying to be a magician when mm. it comes to like missionary. What do you mean? I'm like mm. kiss, nipples, sex. Like all the the the. What's the magician part? As in, I'm doing all the pleasure. Like I, you lick on the neck. What's the magician part? I'm doing all the tricks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I know that was clear in your head. <laughs> doing all the stuff. But you were like, I'm gonna do like magician. Yeah, yeah. I kiss her. And I I'm, lick and like. Then I'm gone. <laughs> That's what I'm like. Is it vanishing? What's I'm happening? Out of here. Poof. I, then I pull the rabbit out. <laughs> and I see. Mm-hmm. Zzz, zzz. Um, but yeah, I'd be trying to do it, but I was like, this is a lot because you gotta, you gotta pivot on the, on the, uh, on the elbow mm-hmm. and you do like a nipple, mm-hmm. you, you halfway over on the, on the other side of the neck, mm-hmm. you, you thrusting mm-hmm. and now you are thrusting with your thumb cause you, you uncoordinated. <laughs> you ever had something you want to go to, but I didn't want to show her cause I her taking it somewhere else. What you mean? You talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to say cause I don't want these women doing it. <laughs> oh nigga. No. I'll, sh- I'll share with you, but and, th- and this isn't like th- this was my first time having this. Yeah, the girl was riding me, and she had like, cause you know there's there's the squat right when she's squatting and then sliding back and forth. Mm-hmm. I was I was, it was the older one who was first time I like had that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like women, but yeah, she did like the squat sliding back and forth, and she was doing well, and she was like doing a rotation with her legs oh. like this. I was like, hey man, this is yeah, this like, is like a, yes, yeah, like a dance. I was like, oh, I wish. Where am I right now? Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy if she, he holds, she twists your hand, like cross your hands, and now she can, she can pull. <laughs> See, we're working together. Yeah. That was the first time I was like, oh, mm-hmm. oh. So for her to slide all the way up and then all yeah. the way back, I was like, oh, and we're then in a good place. Now. You said, you, <laughs> and the funny thing is, if you were no longer talking to that girl, you try to try to adapt that to the next girl. You'd be like, hey, can you try this? And she's like, what are you talking about? It's like, it's like a. <laughs> Here, lay down. <laughs> Let me get on top. I got you. It's like this. <laughs> but then, and what was dope about her, she was older. Yeah. Healthy knees. Yeah. You talk to women now, they're like, my knees can't yeah. do that. Yeah. I hurt. My, my hip yeah. flexors are sore. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, man, come on, get out of here. Get bro. out of here, homie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the first time I was like, oh, this is, we got, there's levels here. And the funny thing is, you can't. It bounced for mad long. If a girl, that, this is a bar. Women get on top. Be, <laughs> right, this, this, you just got up there. Yeah. I know. Let's switch positions. Oh, if a so. girl, that's a bar right there. If a girl has showed you a crazy move, mm-hmm. dad, you like, I need more women to do this. Mm-hmm. So you're like, next girl, I want her to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You can't even be like, hey, the last girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's try something. I'm just kind of <laughs> feeling creative. <laughs> like, hey, we, this is our first sexual experience. <laughs> was, hey, the first one you got to be like, oh, let's see what you got. Give yeah, me a couple yeah, times. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, we got to upgrade this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Study this playbook. The, the, the funny thing is, when it comes to your first sexual experience, you can't go all out. You have to do maybe the three traditionals on top, missionary, and mm-hmm. maybe doggy. Mm-hmm. Doggy, maybe. Is, doggy is very disrespectful. No, it's, women it's, love. Yes, they love it. That's what you got to, that's, I feel like we, we doing this early. I might get a missionary first. Doggy's yeah. coming immediately. Yeah. Well, that's, it's the second position at right. the worst. And, and how do you transition out of the sex position? How do you be like, hey, do you say, let's switch, let, hey, get on, Get the worst is the huh? Yeah, we get on. What'd you say? <laughs> the funny is because there's no smooth way. It's not like going to one gear wow. to the second gear. He's like, hey, Why don't you go and get on? Yeah. Top? Would you? What? Huh? Yeah, you gotta be like, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> I want you to get on top. You said what? I want you to get on top. <laughs> you ever get? Oh, you ever hear? Uh, <laughs> Hold on, let me get my icy hot. Uh, yeah. No, no, we, oh, we ain't got to do it. We, can, we can stay here. We can stay here. 
Um, yeah, it's no, it's, it's not like you can, it's not gonna transform. You can be like, it's like somebody has to get off. Somebody has to get up and get prepared. You okay, so just smack on the button, but like, all right, get up. Now you out. Yeah. You want me to do? Turn around. Maybe get in direction. You want me to do? Turn yeah. around here like this. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Put that leg up. Mm-hmm. No, put the leg up higher. No, but twist your back. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, being this size, it's not a lot of moves. <laughs> they go down the bigger you are. <laughs> like I got on my back, on my stomach. No, tell you something, man. You ever see like moves on porns? Like <clears throat> I can't. My body won't even allow me to do that. Yeah. I, I, I seen that. I would love to do that. I, I can't do that. Mm. I got my left knee. Can't do this. <laughs> That's the bad one. I will wear a knee brace next time, though. Yeah, yeah. Let me get in here. Blame it on porn. <laughs> Let me get in here. But it makes you think about, like, there was those old, like, what are, what are those? Like, those uh, brothels where they would, teach, they would teach women how to sexually please men. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if it's around anymore. I, I guess you kind of see those classes now. They'd be, like, those twerking sex classes or mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I've seen, like, those classes where, like, you're writing, like, writing on men and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so I guess they haven't gone away, but and it's only when I watch like those old movies and they're like, you know, sort of like a lead brothel woman who teaches or how they teach women how to sexually please men. Like it's a thing that women learned mm-hmm. because like in that fact, of course, like when you were trying to get your guy, you mm-hmm. know, you didn't work in it like that, something like that. So and what's crazy is it's not it's not like classes <laughs> for reverse because the men are so stubborn and so prideful. Mm-hmm. This is how you please your woman. Get your pumps in. Yeah, and it's like and this it's is like, the old reach around. Right. <laughs> Could you imagine if there was a guy on your hips like this behind? Like, come on, man! It's not even about the thrust; it's about the movement of. Hey, this. man, you getting hard back there? <laughs> okay, get on top of me. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. This. Oh, I'm like, on my money. It's back. sexy and cute for women to show women how to mm-hmm. have sex with men, mm-hmm. but there's no men like like. Okay. All right, guys, line up. Mm-hmm. The yeah. biggest shorts. <laughs> Men, number one thing that women do not like, do not put your hand all certain- the way in the vagina. <laughs> I wasn't going that not direction. Not the wide hand, <laughs> at least. I was not going that direction. I was talking about head. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Listen to Dion. I can't wait to tell you about that. <laughs> that, that that's, that's for the me. advanced class. <laughs> See me over there in uh, a, 2A. After you graduate. <laughs> We'll watch you have intercourse. The thing is, pass. getting fist is crazy. <laughs> and I know people I know people get fist. We into it. Which is insane. Mm-hmm. As in there's a vagina that is accepting this. And is and are, is and booty holes. I was gonna say I ain't no once. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. I seen things I'm like, ah, oh. I can't even. Yeah. Yeah. To put it in there. Like you gotta you gotta like this. And then slowly because doing like this is like a, a huge I, I know this is the size of a baby it's the size of a baby head so imagine you you would have to go like this inside to slowly and then be like this you ready for it here we go here we go uh-huh you, you good yeah there we are <laughs> the rotation because <laughs> you gotta you gotta lube up the sides You're like, all right here we go i'm about to fist pump i'm gonna get my target woods on <laughs> <laughs> well, she was like, "Is it in yet?" Oh Man. shit, I'm not having sex. Now you're in there. Do it. Throwing combos. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, people are wild. Yeah. Because then someone was like, "No, stop!" stop. Oh, a whole yeah. fist. Yeah. Keep going. I, I'm assuming elbow fisting, deep. So I'm assuming. No, ain't no way. I'm assuming fisting came from a very insecure man who had no girth or width. It was just like, let's just. You think he just punched her in the vagina? And was like, oh yeah. And she's like, now I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's all you got. Oh. There's a lot of sex toys I've seen for women too. The ones that's like huge cucumbers and they they kind of do like a up down. You ever seen those? I don't think so. Yeah, they just know. sit on it and then just. It just moves up and down so. it because the idea of of writing. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, women got a much better variety of sex toys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they make these things now. They be looking like your cup. <laughs> like, I was like, oh. <laughs> said, oh? yeah, I'm not about to have this thing. Then I gotta if, clean it out to my yeah. put in my dishwasher. <laughs> Next 
next to the salad bowl. <laughs> Put your sex toy in the dishwasher is insane, yo. Let's take it apart. The funny thing is, after every masturbation jack off sex session by yourself is humiliating. I don't think it's humiliating. You're not like, eh, look at me, look at you, you, <laughs> you lonely piece. Because <laughs> during the moment, you in it like, nothing like, oh God, what am I doing? I had, I, I had other things I could have done. Let me tell you the worst sex cramp I had. Sex cramp? Yeah, I was okay. getting, I was getting, I had once and I came, my whole left butt cheek <sighs> tightened, the cheek. Like, I don't know, because I remember being like, hey, this is exceptional. Yeah. But I remember my whole <laughs> left cheek went flat. This is exceptional. It was like, yeah. and I was, I was just like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, stop, 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 stop. Dog, it went from my butt cheek yeah. all the way down my thigh, oh. dog. That was the worst cramp yeah. I've ever, yeah. and, it, and it was days yeah, you felt of the, pain. Yeah, wow. Like, I pulled or strained, I yeah. definitely strained yeah. something. Yeah. And I remember having to like get this little massage roller and like, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, my walking different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God, bro. Yeah, buddy. And that was the worst. Mm-hmm. The, the calf cramp. Yeah. Terrible Easy also. Work. But that one on my butt cheek. Yeah. That was. If, if there's any men in this, in this chat right now, um, Tall men, I would say. I don't know what it is. Wait, 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 I got tall? you. I got you. What, what that mean? <laughs> I got you. Anybody five seven and taller <laughs> is tall men. And you're dealing with a shorter woman, and you're hitting it from the back, and you are squatting for minutes, like in your head, you like, I'm pleasuring myself. You're not even thinking about your your body is 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 burning. squatting. <laughs> it is burning. Your thighs are like. You in the whole time you was like I'm beaten, I'm having a good time. As soon as you bust, your legs blow. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> you do for them little shakes. Ooh, this is last time I did some squats around here. Woo! That and it's crazy. It shows you how your mind it is mind over matter, as in like oh, so if I'm having a good time. I can do an extra. Well, I mean, it's, I, I feel like it's the same with sports too. Like if you're playing football, you've been hurt and played on pain, mm-hmm. and you've been hurt and uh, whatever, whatever it is. It's like there's definitely times when like, because there's times when you'll be smashed and you feel the pain, mm-hmm. but you're like, I'm about to push through this. Yeah, like push through, push through. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah, you you feel it. You, you ripped your deltoid, bro. <laughs> I did. Huh? I what? Did. And I threw for 400 yards. <laughs> No, it's like it's like that. When that drilling in is pumping or stuff mm-hmm. like that, that's the ultimate. Like, yeah, he's just like, oh, well, I'm good. I don't feel none of this. I got cracked at the goal line. I picked up a fumble. Okay. I, re- I picked up a fumble and someone cracked me. Did you fumble? Ah, uh, no. You held on to no. it. Did you make the touchdown? I didn't get the touchdown. Okay, I'm no. sorry. Uh, cause it was, it was a, a DB hawked me down. I mean, it's gonna happen. Yeah, Bound hawked to happen. me. That's fine. But cracked me. Wait, how? From the back? Pause. Well, it was from a, a cross. So the whole time, okay. I'm looking at this lineman this uh-huh, way. Uh-huh. I'm like this. Got him. Yeah, because I was like, yeah. I was like, hey, you ain't going to catch me. <laughs> and next, you know, I'm, I'm about to celebrate. And I seen like, pow. Mm. And then it was like, yeah, luck. That's what I'm talking about. And they picked me up. Like, yeah. And I'm like this. <laughs> Concussion. I'm like, yeah. Oh, he's You're a jolly good fell. My pocket's on Broadway. <laughs> They picking me up. Oh, geez, a jolly good fail. I'm like, yeah. I'm just a rag dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think my ears are bleeding. Hey, man, I was just talking about that the other day with somebody. I was like, would you let your son play football? I was like, yeah, I probably would, but. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Take you, them you hits. had a concussion before? Had to. Yeah. <laughs> had to. I had to. Had to. Yeah. I played since I was eight to senior year, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, as many times as you got your bell rung, because that's what they called it, mm-hmm. that's a concussion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every time you got your bell the rung. The stars. The stars, the lights. Yeah. Flashing lights. Yeah. Um, the quick snap of black, and you're like. Shh. Yeah. Like, I've had that happen a few the times. The oxygen just leaves your head. And you're just like, boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had, and then oh, the headaches. Mm-hmm. Looking around. I definitely had a headache after yeah. or during. You're like, oh. 
Yeah. Dog. And then your and your teammates is good shit, nigga. Good shit. Like, huh, stop. It, it sucks when you hit somebody and your head's ringing. You be like, I laid the hit. <laughs> you gonna take your helmet off? Yeah. yeah. So your brain can <laughs> expand. <laughs> Cause that, those helmets are restrictive as it is. <coughs> yeah, the helmets already—I don't know if they necessarily cut off circulation, but it feels right. like that. I think, I think they changed a lot now. I have no idea now. <laughs> yeah, when last thing you had a helmet on? This was like what, two thousand four, two thousand three. Yeah, but like, but like, even then you had like the—you know—it like, felt like enough cushion. Right. But it really didn't matter. Yeah. Because it was the—I mean, it's the impact. It's the the helmet right. on helmet for sure, or catching right. a shoulder pad, catching a knee. Yeah. I caught a knee in the helmet. Mm-hmm. It's like it's just that. And then somebody going full speed at you. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the other thing. Yeah. Um, but that's the game also, man. I, you got to be a certain type of uh, person. Yeah. To enjoy playing football like that. Mm-hmm. You gotta. You gotta. What I enjoy being online is we 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 typically get our hits immediately. Right. Like, it's the safest place, dog. Honestly, <laughs> I tell people online the yeah. de- the offensive defense line is the safest place. Yeah. Yeah. Out of like, sure, there's injuries, right, right, but you're least likely to get injured. You're least likely to get a concussion, right, because there's no speed buildup, right, right. It's unless like you, bam, yeah, you get cracked. You're right here, yeah. But them cats, people are like you going to get some, but like, man, you got somebody barreling down on mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Them safeties, them yeah, safeties, and running back boy. hits, yeah. Like a linebacker's gonna have a little easier, right. But them safeties and cornerbacks coming up to play, right. those are the the big no kickoffs crack, how crack, they used to be. Right. The, the kickoff blocks. now is smart. Right. It saves them a lot. Because yeah. they they're not going as full speed. Right. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, man, those things are dangerous, bro. Like that those were the ones, those full speed drills are going all the way. Yeah. Those are the ones you would get cracked. Mm-hmm. And the blind side hits were crazy. Yeah. 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 It felt good when you got one. <laughs> If you yeah. hit somebody blindside, yeah. you felt like them. Yeah. Such a dick. Man. And and you 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 hear oh from the crowd. And you know it. They have no idea. But you're like, ooh, welcome to the jungle. Cause we got game. But if you get hit with one, mm-hmm. yeah. It's devastating. It's, it's, it's nothing like it's nothing like you you preparing for one and they dodge it. And you <laughs> 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 I had niggas like, huh? and they stick up the tackle. <laughs> And missing the clear yeah, tackle, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, man. So getting jukes embarrassing. You're like, oh, because the thing is, y'all, y'all get him, y'all get him. I need help. Where were y'all at? Now I'm just supposed to slow him down. The beautiful thing about being, the beautiful thing about football, is it it's is either you crack them for mm-hmm. the tackle. Mm-hmm. Or break down mm. to not get juked. Right. So it is that both that gamble of like, I want to get this tackle, or but if you die for that tackle, that's an easy way for you right. to move out the way. Like I mean, some, trying to get somebody at full speed, you got to kind of break down. Yeah. But I remember like you ever get trucked, but brought them down. Cause getting trucked. <laughs> yeah. It's just and they, and they keep on going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just gra- grab it onto the you ripping their jersey. <laughs> But I've definitely had it. And I'm like, boom. They yeah. like, trucked your ass. Got you down, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head ringing. Yeah. You ever ruined the whole play? Ruined? Like, y'all lost the game because of you? Or something happened that you mi- missed assignment? I don't think so. I just know Sackles. I don't think I had a whole lot of things where I go like, that's my fault. As in a wide receiver right down the middle. <laughs> like, chance was the other way. It was the <laughs> Nah, I mean, being there, I'm probably the, the least responsible. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like one of those runs up the middle for 60 yards, you got mm-hmm. like, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I, got, I got double teamed. We all that. Yeah, yeah. But you don't catch a whole <laughs> lot of heat from there. I um, I played offensive line one year, and that was when I came out to uh, Southwest College. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know these plays at all. They just mm-hmm. like my size. <laughs> they just like my size. You didn't study a playbook? I mean, I, I did, but their number, they're, it was so different, it's, man. Because I never played offense. Uh-huh. So, it was, you know, it was stuff like, you know, quarter nine. That's why game, I game, never game, played game. offense, bro, because yeah. I was like, I'm not about to do this whole playbook. Right, right. So, I mean, you know your assignment. You hear the numbers. You know, how, when, when they call plays, you mm. you know, it's, it's used like the numbers are like. Play guard or tackle? Uh, play tackle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I ruined a lot of plays, man. I ruined a lot of plays, and and like that's your block. <laughs> he was. I ruined a lot of plays. Quarterback get blindside yeah, sack. Yeah. It, so- <laughs> hey, when them dudes get sacked and the linemen turn around, what happens? Help them up. <laughs> get your goddamn hands off. <laughs> the quarterbacks. I love when the quarterbacks be pissed. Yeah, yeah. I they be small, cussing out that dude six seven. Get your fat ass over here. Get your fucking block today. Block him. 
He was open. Got you. Quarterbacks got you, be cussing. I'm lying and smooth got you, out. Got you, got you. Every one time, I just had to blame it on injury. Like, he stepped my finger. I'm like, coach. I'm like, this he is whooping my ass. I'm hey, like, man, if you miss a big block, you got you to limp off. Got to be injured. I pulled, I pulled uh, yeah. yeah. I'll for the rest of the game. I can come back. It's too fast, though. The thing is, I knew we were being filmed. I couldn't fake it. Like, ah, I can't do a flop. So I had to get up on the pals. Like, oh, I stepped my finger. Hey man, film room. Yeah. When you when you when something happened in the film room, yeah. Coach was that that's when you ooh, that's yeah. when you got ripped to shreds. Yeah. Look at this. Hold on, rewind it back. Rewind it back. What were you doing? What were you thinking? Tell me what you're thinking. Because what I'm about to say to you, I need you to have a perfect explanation of why you thought this. <laughs> that's you. Play it. Look at you. You was in the B gap. Right? Why was you in the B gap? You're supposed to be in the C gap. You are way off. What play did you thought this was? I heard I heard uh, the linebacker call the shift. <laughs> no, you didn't. Huh? <laughs> oh, y'all don't understand the football talk. Yeah, I forgot. Y'all speaking hieroglyphics. <laughs> it's hell, oh, man. I don't know if I'm in. My pops used to be there to watch films, though. Films, too. <sighs> Bro, you used to get ripped to shreds in mm -hmm. film. Or you be clowning the homies. Mm -hmm. If somebody got ripped, I mean, you also celebrate. Yeah, yeah. You be like, well, look at you. Look at that bug, bug, baby. Mm -hmm. But if somebody got trucked, you're getting clowned. Yeah. It's part of it. Ooh. Yeah, up under the chin truck, too. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, watching somebody get stiffed arm. Woo. Uh -huh. Oh, boy, because y'all you those reaching? Yeah, step times embarrassing. Cause sometimes they start to do the punch too. They like, like a goosh. yeah. I remember uh, I got off a block. That lineman, the running back came in so fast. Mm -hmm. I just got the block. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> trying to grab me. Just trying to grab his shoestrings. The stiff arm was like, a, I, 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 don't don't touch me. And you like, and you're but like, that hard one too. That yeah, because it's a punch. Your neck go back. It's in. a punch, yo. You good? Can you pop my uh, head out my neck, please? Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. I miss Friday Night Lights watching my son play. Those are good times, man. All right, man. Yeah, let's get one out of here. All right, man. You guys had enough. Mm -hmm. You had enough of the antics. We covered yeah, a lot of ground. You missed a, you missed a lot. Let me come on what we talking about. Anywho. All right. We got to figure this out, though. This right. is going to be episode 97 or 8. Oh, boy. Let's see. Coming out this week is 97. This won't be this mm -hmm. one. It's what we did last week. 98. Dang, are we at? So we got we got to figure our date for our live show. We mm -hmm. got to do it. We got to do it like next month, show. yo. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Lacker and Chaz. Now, 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 check, please. please. Do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we're cooking up in this podcast. Talk XD is high key to live stream. Put the positive conversation with Kevin. We didn't get dark in the elbow to my sleep. This is a pop-up like I'm calling Pepsi. Mr. Chaz, why this big ready for blessing? I'm Kat Coast. ENT, I guess. We <laughs> pay for the time. So give us another check, please. You had it. I'm Kat Toast. <laughs> you was in there, though. You was in there. It was, we were there. Yeah. That was the ending. That was it. Cactos. <laughs> the fact that you heard it so clear. No one else heard that except you. A cat toast. <laughs> what were you trying to say? I don't know. What was the cat? Mr. Chaz Rogers, Big Ready from Lansing. I don't know. Maybe I was I'm like, cat toast. I'm cat toast. <laughs> uh, all right, Charlie. We appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. I got the pee. I got to eat. I am past my fast. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, y'all. No, y'all didn't. Okay, tell us. No, y'all didn't. Ugh. Ugh. I got the job, bro.